Angela Cerbi, Fred Film Radio from the Torino Film Festival, here with two guests, with Valentina Brazzini, producer, and Peter Mackey Burns, director of Daphne in competition in at the Torino Film Festival. Good morning, both of you. Good morning. First, Good morning. first question for the director, which is a, a kind of obvious one, but what, what attracted you to this screenplay to decide to make a film? Um, Okay, so I take this. Uh, what attracted me to the screenplay or making this film? I think I like character films very much. Mm -hmm. And I'm very interested in learning uh, about the world. I'm very inquisitive. So I think character's an interesting way to explore social and dramatic issues. Mm -hmm. So the, the movies I like, when I was growing up, or the American New Wave movies of Cassavetes. And I thought, wouldn't it be interesting to make a movie that has a woman in it who lives a normal life in a normal part of town, and women like we would meet? And we discussed, you know, let's talk a little bit about this. We discussed that we weren't seeing women that we knew represented on screen. Mm -hmm. so, what do you think? I exactly, <laughs> Valentina. What do you think? <laughs> yes, I mean that's that's also what attracted me to the project and to Peter because Peter actually um, sent me first a short film that he had made with the same actress mm -hmm. and also the same r screenwriter, which was a sort of prototype of the character of Daphne. And um, th the reason why I really wanted to make it into a bigger form and like maybe a more complex story is that I really love the character as well and I thought um, she really feels like a real woman and she struggles with things we all struggle with so also making this film was a way for all of us to just talk about <laughs> what worries <laughs> us and like all our issues and how hard is it to live in a big city right now like London, no. yeah. like London yes yeah. But actually, the thing that is really amazing about the film is that if there is, if you have to tell the story, there is no story basically. Yeah. But <laughs> it's, it, it's a difficult. But there is pitch. a lot. There is yeah. not a, a specific plot, but it's a it's a huge film in terms of contents because it deals with many many different aspects, and I think that Emily Beecham she is great. She is perfect for that. How did you how did you find her? I mean, you you. She just said that you, you worked with her before. Yeah, I was introduced to her a couple of years before this, and we got on, and we made a little short film together, a version of the character, mm -hmm. and we seemed to have a similar world view. You know, so we both like Chekhov very much. So we both think life is light Which and is dark. A, this is a very specific That's thing. Inter <laughs> but we bonded but on yeah, yeah, but when we but so is the screenwriter. And so you know, to say a little bit about how we work is the producers and the writer and myself, we work pretty closely to mm -hmm. and we share a I think a sense of humour. <laughs> well I <laughs> You think <laughs> so at least. I think so. And we thought, well, wouldn't it be interesting to try to make something where the, it's character-led and it examines both light and dark. And for me, I'm interested uh, to pick up on a thing you said. I want to make something that feels like life, that mm -hmm. you could see these people on the street in any city. But I also want to use that and make a movie. So I'm not making a documentary. Yeah, but course, to make something that feels like life and is also structured like a, a movie, but not the the traditional structure of a movie. And these no, days, you're right. Actually, there is an evolution of her character oh, throughout sure. the film. You know, nothing happens in, in terms of action, let's say. But something, there's no bank robbery. Something really <laughs> deep is happening yeah. to her. It's because she she starts being like independent and upfront. She doesn't care. Uh, living her life, and then s little by little, she starts she starts to question herself. Quite two questions of life: what what what's happening? Um, I was really I'm, I'm I'm curious. You just said that you were the three of you. So you, Valentina, and Nico, was uh, the the screenwriter. You were together on the film. How did you manage to develop? How 
how much did you change from the original script to the final actual mm -hmm. film, if, if, if you did? Or which were your, uh, you know, your, your, your sign, your signature um, in terms of director? Well, f for me being a, a director, working with a screenwriter and an actor, for me I like everything to feel invisible, you know? Mm -hmm. So I don't like to have a signature. I like audiences to follow the story and connect with the character. So I feel that my work should be invisible. Mm -hmm. But I feel that the, direc the director and the, the writing, these things, sh only people who love movies or want to make them or make them notice. I love the audience, a general audience, only to see the story mm -hmm. and connect. So how different is it? Well, we, we work on lots of drafts, don't we? Yeah, it depends. Like from the first draft, actually, the last draft was very different. Mm -hmm. it, it's strange because the character and the, the themes and the city, all that kind of stuff was always there from the beginning. So we always knew what we wanted to say and how the character was. Yeah. But the plot, which we already said is not a big plot, but the plot around it uh, changed a lot from the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the stabbing was always there, but a lot of other stuff changed. Um, but then from the shooting script to what we actually shot is pretty, pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, very yeah. Much so. And there are, s she said, I mean, the char not only Daphne's characters, but all the, all, all the other characters, they say very deep things. I mean, <laughs> it was, no, I actually, I, I marked down some because it was like, love and sex, we make do whatever works, one of the characters says, yeah. while we're trying to understand the wrong relationship with Daphne and this guy. And this- He's, he's trying to, have sex with her. <laughs> what were you thinking? Well, I, well, I was not thinking so. I was thinking the opposite. You see, it was like she was more involved into him, and you wanted to just set up some some set up straight that there were not more than the physical part. This was this is what I got. Well, well. And um, I mean, this. I mean, I was uh, beside this specific line. I was really uh, touched by many of those lines because it's, they're, they're really contemporary in terms of. Is what is really true to what a person living in a big city by herself or by himself can think, mm -hmm. you know? Because the difficulty, the main difficulty living in a huge city like London, is personal relationships. This is, I think, the big yeah. thing, you know. Yeah. Sure. And you manage, you manage to, m you manage to manage these relationships in a very realistic way, which was like one of the points of the film to me. Oh, thank, oh, thank you, yeah. thank you. We tried to make the characters very detailed mm -hmm. and we'd work with the actors in advance to make the character so when they come to the set they know the character mm -hmm. well and we don't really rehearse mm -hmm. so we okay. shoot quickly so did you work with with uh, emily a, li um, a lot before shooting in order to to build up daphne o okay w we do character work so i spent about a year was it doing character maybe a bit so longer we were mm. writing we were writing so I, I would write a biography, or discuss biography with her, and she'd do activities that the character does. So she went to work in a, a restaurant quite near the shoot. But I asked her, her character was an English and philosophy student who dropped out of mm -hmm. university. So I asked her to read the reading list to the point the character dropped out. And to do activities, okay. not improvisation, but to do activities in the real world that the character did, Absolutely. to get a feel. You know, mm -hmm. like go out on terrible dates. Oh, she didn't <laughs> want to do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, we asked her to do some things. And over the course of the, the, the year from writing the short film to the feature film, she listened to the music. We made lists. She read things. She went to some places. We discussed things. But it wasn't like homework. It was I was exploiting her friendship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> in, order, in order to get her to inhabit the character rather than created okay yeah see the pretty, okay very clear well thank you very much thank you very much to valentina brazzini and to peter mackenberg thanks respectively producer and director of the film daphne here in torino i'm angela cerbi for fred film radio the festival insider <laughs>